This is peak gaslighting time where they come for us to try to isolate the individual and say there's something wrong with the individual story, some reason it can't be trusted. And they want us to ignore the cumulative weight of the evidence. General Kelly is not alone. You've got Mike Pence saying that Donald Trump is unfit for office because he put himself over the Constitution and asked Mike Pence to do the same. You've got Milley on the record calling Donald Trump a fascist. You've got his old, uh, you know, Homeland Security advisor saying he's unfit. John Bolton saying he's unfit. His former White House attorney saying he's unfit. Ty Cobb. They're not all lying. Hello, everyone. I'm JVL here with my best friends, Sarah Longwell and Tim Miller of The Bulwark. Twelve hours ago, Jeff Goldberg dropped a story in The Atlantic in which he ran through all of the Donald Trump's greatest hits, but then also had a bunch of new stuff from John Kelly, who is out on the record. And, uh, you know, like this should be a bombshell. It should destroy the Trump campaign. It should cause it should cause Kamala Harris to wind up with 55 percent of the vote. Um, Sarah hit me. Because I get the sense okay. you're loaded for bear on this, and I, I want the full Megillah from you. Yeah, let me just start by saying, normally, in a normal circumstance, this would be the October surprise. Former chief of staff for a president comes out and said he routinely praised Hitler's generals. And this would come shortly after the president himself had said that he wants to use uh, the military against the enemy within, meaning Americans who do not agree with him politically. This should be the whole ballgame, should be the whole ballgame. But in our current circumstances, the October surprise would be the media giving this uh, the seriousness, the gravity and the longevity, meaning this is not a one day news story. It's not something we talk about for a 12 hour news cycle. It's the kind of thing that explodes a campaign. Now, I just did a big Twitter thread on this because I'm out of my mind on a couple specific pieces. One is I already when I tweeted this story last night, I immediately had sort of the Trump defending sycophants in mm. my comments saying, well, this is a lie. Yeah, you know, these have been debunked. These are anonymously sourced. And I responded, these are not anonymous, on, anonymously sourced. John Kelly is on the record. He's not just on the record in the Atlantic. He did recordings with the New York Times, which means John Kelly is officially on a media tour with the information that he has about Donald Trump. Right. This is this is he. John Kelly's taking it seriously enough that he went with the New York Times and did recordings. And he gave all of this new information to Jeffrey Goldberg. And one of the things that frustrates me about people saying that, like, and this is what this is what happens when something like this happens, this drops. Like, there is a media way, or there's like a, a way that Trump defenders they isolate the single instance and they try to find something that they can grab onto to discredit it. Either the context, we don't know the context. I'm watching dead-eyed Scott Jennings on CNN saying, "Well, we are," and David Urban. Uh, we, we don't know. Uh, and also, the real Nazis are the kids on college campuses. Nobody look at the guy praising Hitler's generals who might run the country, you know, in three months. Uh, I, these people make me sick. They make me physically ill. The way that they treat this. But here's the thing. They want to gaslight you. This is peak gaslighting time where they come for us to try to isolate the individual and say there's something wrong with the individual story. Some reason it can't be trusted. And they want us to ignore the cumulative weight of the evidence. General Kelly is not alone, not by a long shot. You've got Mike Pence saying that Donald Trump is unfit for office because he put himself over the Constitution and asked Mike Pence to do the same. You've got Milley on the record calling Donald Trump a fascist. You've got his old, uh, you know, Homeland Security advisor saying he's unfit. John Bolton saying he's unfit. His former White House attorney saying he's unfit. Ty Cobb. They're not all lying. It's just like the sexual assault victims. Are they all lying? Every single one of them? But because Trump defenders do this thing where they circle the wagons and they pinpoint one thing. They want you to forget all of the other contexts, not the least of which is the stuff we hear coming from Trump himself. Here's the reason that we know that Donald Trump talks like this about soldiers. He said it on the record about John McCain. Yes. Right. He said it <laughs> yes. on the record. He, how do we know that he thinks Hitler's kind of a cool guy? Is he out there right now calling Americans 
vermin? Is he talking about immigrants poisoning the blood of our country? He sure is. Did Didn't he, he have dine? dinner with a Nazi? Did he dine with a white supremacist, a self-described white supremacist? We have the evidence we need. This is a question of whether we decide to take it seriously. And I will tell you, this is the media's last opportunity to cover the stakes and not the race. Cover the stakes and not the